HTC's new software plans to make your transition simple. Case manufacturers can't decide on how the Galaxy S4 will look, and the Sony Xperia SP gets leaked. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm heading to TGIF once this video is over. This is Pocket Now Daily. Now get this new installment. HTC is planning a major overhaul to their HTC Sync Manager in order to support the fact that you could pull full backups from an iPhone to be loaded on your new HTC One. And sadly, yes, it's only supporting HTC Ones once they make the market, but the idea is that you can pull your contacts, calendars, personal information, your photos, and your media from your iPhone directly to the new HTC One once you pull it out of the box. Makes you wonder why they haven't figured that out for other Android devices, and makes you wonder why it can't happen with the HTC One X, for example. New rumors show us how the iPad Mini 2 will look, and you don't need to take a wild guess. It looks exactly like the iPad Mini 1, though. It's hard to tell at this point what sort of changes will happen in the internals for the new design that's pretty much like the old design. The question is if Apple will bring a retina display to this iPad, and even though everyone is crossing their fingers waiting for that, honestly, I doubt it. We'll keep you posted. Now let's talk about the Galaxy S4. Usually the way we know how devices are going to look before they're launched is because somehow case manufacturers are able to get the devices before they're launched. Really cool. But the problem is that these new case companies cannot figure out how the Galaxy S4 looks. And this is just to prove a point of how Samsung can be secretive with their new device coming up, though. We're not sure if that's really a good or a bad thing. We'll keep you posted, obviously. The Galaxy S4 may land in March 14th, so set your calendars. Now, other new leaks show that Sony's working on a new Xperia SP for those of you that thought that the alphabet was done with the Xperia Z. Now, this device packs some decent hardware. We have a 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro processor along with the usual suspects. But the question is, where will this device land when it comes to a market? Maybe, probably not necessarily the United States, probably just a specific market. The design is kind of cool, but we don't really see this happening for MWC 2013, so just stay tuned. We could be surprised. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, recently Windows RT customers were surprised with the great news that there's a jailbreak feature for Windows RT tablets, but sadly back then the problem is that you couldn't pretty much load anything that wasn't an ARM-based application, but this new emulator has just debuted in beta and it allows you to load 32-bit Windows applications into Windows RT, but hmm, it's obviously a beta, it's not really perfect, but that really leads me to the question of the day. Think about this. If somebody out there was able to figure out how to bring Windows applications into Windows RT and not Microsoft, why didn't Microsoft figure it out? I mean, seriously, I feel that the only reason why Windows RT has not taken off is because there aren't any apps and it makes you wonder why Microsoft is not really giving it the potential that it should receive. Leave us a comment. And yes, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you next week. But stay tuned for all the MWC coverage that's coming up next. Mobile World Congress 2013. For one week in February, nearly every major player in the mobile space assembles in Barcelona to show off the newest and hottest smartphones, tablets, and everything in between and Pocket Now will be there. We'll bring you on-site previews, editorials, videos, and podcasts right from the show floor, and in-depth explorations of technology you won't see on store shelves for months. If you love mobile technology like we do, follow and subscribe to Pocket Now so you don't miss a thing. Coverage starts on February 21st.